All right, guys, welcome back to Devil May Cry. Uh, to the shop again. Uh, I'm really enjoying this, as I'm sure I'm, I've said about a million, quadrillion, billion times, and um, it's it's so true. That's cool, I want that. Into a swimming spin. Okay, cool. And then that should be fine. I mean, I'm, I've almost got all of his abilities now, I think. Skins and perks. Oh, I'm getting... Oh, sick! That's how you change his... Okay, because I've got the samurai pack, so I can actually change the look of these. Yeah, I will probably unlock uh, Virgil when I get, um... Actually, regular ones look better. That kind of sucks. Oh, I did... Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 come on, man. I meant to hit the next mission, but that didn't happen. I'll probably just cut this little bit out. Oh, well, maybe not. It's only like a second anyway. These loading screens do take quite a while, however, that's the, probably the only thing about this game that I don't particularly like is how long the loading screens are, but I suppose they've got a lot to load, so... Oh, there we go. Oh, unfocused. There we go. I was here years ago as a child. I explored the whole facility unseen. I sensed a demon under the factory. A succubus. An ancient one. Cool. I believe it's the source of the psychotropic ingredient. That's what they use to control us. Welcome, visitors, to the Virility Factory. Virility's secret ingredient is what makes Virility the number one soft drink in the world. And best of all, it has been scientifically proven to improve weight loss by 21% and enhance sexual performance by 63%. How do people actually fall for this crap? If you're told something's true often enough, you tend to believe it. I suppose. You told me I was crazy for seeing demons. Yeah. They tried telling me I was a basket case, too. They wanted to put me on drugs. Said it would make me better. They lied. They just wanted to keep me weak. Docile. Oh, yeah. How did you figure it all out? Virgil pulled me out of the nightmare. You? When the people you're supposed to trust most turn out to be... Scum. Your eyes really do open up to evil everywhere. I took a stand, fought back, killed, no matter the consequences. So I chose my path and I lived by it. But after all that nice. anger, violence, and death, you have to dig deep, dig into your own heart, to see if you are still sane, or if you can still call yourself human. I just knew in my heart I wasn't crazy. Maybe if you'll so The succubus is hidden deep inside the factory, but there is no physical way to reach it from our world. Only from limbo. There's a rift inside. Rest assured that it has been deemed both safe and beneficial by our trustworthy and ethical scientists. Apart from the fact that it's a fucking demon that's <laughs> producing the shit. Oh, I don't know. This way, I think. You think? You said you'd been here before. Yes, but it was during an out-of-body experience years ago. Flying around in spirit form. Yeah, in limbo. Virgil says it could be an effective intelligence gathering tool, but I can't do it at will. So, how did you do it before? 
It was triggered by extreme psychosomatic trauma. The nightmares. What are the nightmares? It's in the past now. I don't think it's in the past somehow. I love how these guys were just able to sneak in here, just completely undetected. This is where they store the merchandise ready for export. It's funny. <laughs> what is it? I expected it to be bigger. A lot bigger. But then, I was just a child when I was here. And I was in limbo. What are you doing here? Escaping my nightmares. You came to Limbo to escape your nightmares? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Seems very crazy. But Once you're in Limbo, limbo all you have to do is retrace your steps back to the mixing room. Should be easy enough. Maybe. But the demons may sense you once you're in Limbo, so stay alert. And once I've reached the mixing room? You'll be able to descend deep down into the factory. And kill me a succubus. For those of you who don't know, a okay. succubus is supposed to be um, like a demon that plays on male emotions. Like makes a male fall. Alright, deep see you on the other side. I think that's what it's supposed to be. If anybody has a more detailed description of them, by all means. Down here. Oh, good. You're right. It's a lot bigger here in Limbo. What next? Head back to the mixing room. I'll meet you there. Cool. Obesity, stupidity, drink virility. So I have the choice of going that way or that way. I don't know, it seemed like the right decision. to the mixing room. Okay. 
Something that's kind of cool with this, um, how they... Yeah, right. Um, is that they incorporated, uh, gameplay from Resident Evil 4, as in how you used to use Nero's, uh, what is it called, the Devil Bringer, as, uh, a tool to get from point A to point B. And that's annoying. And I think it's really cool uh, how they've done that. Uh, because, you know, I guess they thought, hey, we're on a good thing here. So let's just kind of keep that up. And they've done a really good job with this, too. It doesn't feel right to me. Is Dante immune to Hell Knight's ground inferno? Oh! Okay, well that makes sense. That's kind of cool.
infect each other with their attacks, they often can be used for Dante's advantage. That doesn't surprise me, especially with these two. Where the hell is that mixing room? Uh, I could go around and find that demon door, but I feel like not being bored. this next. Oh, is this the demo boss? What 
in the shitting hell is going on here? The mixing process. But it's the source we're interested in. I'm guessing our succubus is on the other end of that. Yeah, that's the demo boss. That's right. This way. Trouble. Give me a minute. Be careful. There's been two Mortal Kombat references in this game so far. When you first use the... Oh, oh shit. Um... Yes, thank you. Uh... First of all, when you use the uh, Angel Pull on an enemy, he goes, Go over here! And then... It was just finish him. And also, not to mention the amount of freaking time it says Fatality. I've seen it say fatality a couple of times on the right hand side of this freaking screen. Oh, get out of the, the goop. Congratulations, you win. <laughs> Dante, you okay? Yeah, yeah, that looked pretty nasty. That? Nah, that was just a big fat joke. Come on, <laughs> let's go get this succubus. I like Dante, he's cool. <laughs> Alright, sweet. So, um, I guess that brings us to the end of this episode, and I'm really, lo like, I don't know, it's just one of those games that I'm into, I guess. Oh, yeah, you get points to the like, confusing items, I feel like a, I feel like a scolded child. Um, but yeah, so, uh, stay tuned. Next episode will be the boss that you face in the demo uh, of the game, if you download the demo. Uh, it's a completely free demo, which is cool. Uh, there's basically two missions, one you've already seen me do, and um, and the next boss that's coming up. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that, and hopefully like, if you guys get the chance to play it, by all means go go and do it. It's freaking awesome. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, I'll catch you guys next episode.